when you call print, you're printing out a, a string or a chunk of text. And that's what's called a type. And there's a lot of different types in Lua. So let's, let's play out with some of those types. We're going to print one, and that's a number. See how it's kind of orange, and it's different than the green that you saw with the quotes? So if you run with the one, it'll print out the one right here. And you can click it, and it'll take you right to where that one is. And that's what's called a number. Now, these are different than you might have heard in other programming languages, if you have any experiences there. Lua is very similar to JavaScript, or eh, kind of Python where it has a single number type. So that one is not necessarily equivalent to zero, but it's it, you can do decimals as well. Some people call them decimals, some people call them quotes, whatever else. So we're gonna do print one zero, hit run, and you'll be able to see it actually still prints as one. It assumes that 1.0 is just the same thing as 1.0. But if you want to hit stop up there to stop your game running and type in 1.1, then hit run, then it'll print it out as a normal decimal. So it supports decimals. It assumes that one, you know, integers, basically whole numbers, or decimals are the same things. So that's strings. That's numbers. There's another special one called a Boolean. And a Boolean can only ever be true. And notice how it's a bright orange, prints to true. Or false. And Booleans are very useful for things like doors and, you know, can I walk through the door is my gun equipped? Can I pet this pet that I don't actually own? Things like that. So the other opposite of true, you can probably guess, is false. And you can tell you did it right because it's orange. And a very common thing with Booleans is to misspell them all the time. So you can do like, you can forget the S, for example. And see how it's not orange? It's kind of your hint that you spelled it wrong. The underline red, you can hover over it and it'll sometimes tell you, hey, that's an... An unglobal, we don't know what false is. So false. And then the last data type we'll cover briefly is the table. This is, if you're familiar with other languages that have an object or other languages that have a list or array, a table is both. It actually can do both. So it's just a left squiggly brace followed by a right squiggly brace. And there's some various rules in there. We'll get into more advanced, but that's a basic table. We print it out, and you should see the table here. Now, it looks kind of strange. Okay, I have squiggly braces. Wow. But this is a very, very powerful type you're going to use a lot in Lua. So we'll cover tables more.